Hi guys, so this is the first time I really really want to make a video because I was dying to find the same video uh, to help me making this board work. So this is the computer, it's CPU, RAM and, and uh, SD cards for putting the operating system in, and storing, uh, storing the information. This is called Dreamcatcher and it is used to uh, receive the Outernet. So you see you get like some SMA connectors. You got two connectors and that that's probably why it took me a long time to figure out how it works. Even so apparently it's written on the how-to's and on the manual but nah it, it didn't I didn't really get it that easily. It came with that that connector, there was a little uh, plastic cover on it, so they were kind of saying you should use this one, which, yeah, sure, I will, I will cover it later. Uh, but first, what is an Outernet? So, Outernet is a, is a quite a cool name to put you in the direction to understand what we're talking about. So, Outernet as opposed to Internet, Outernet is a unidirectional. Uh, broadcasting of information from satellite, uh, geostationary satellite, on uh, L band. So there are few bands for satellites uh, that are used. So I would say L band is the lowest frequency one. Uh, then there is a C band. C band is used um, mainly. It used to be what we use in Europe for TV. It's, it's still used in um, in Asia. Uh, the lower the band, the the more the easier it is to get. Uh, higher frequencies are a bit harder. Um, so this is L band. So you see, this is the type of antenna you you can use to receive um, the information, as opposed to a normal satellite dish. You know, like the the parabolic, round, circular. Things that you see, you used to see, in, uh, and you still see on top of houses to receive uh, TV and also internet. But like, yeah, not everybody knows that you can receive uh, internet from satellite dish. So this is a L-band antenna. You see, it's very small, very simple. It's a panel antenna. So you you, you just have like to kind of direct it toward the, the satellite, but you don't need fine tuning like. Uh, as with a dish. So that's quite handy. L-band I think is also used for GPS. So you see your phone can catch GPS signal from satellites. So they are not geostationary, they move. But uh, your phone can be, it doesn't necessarily need to be exactly aligned with the satellite to get it. And that's the beauty of the L-band. Uh, the trade-off, I didn't go through all the bands, but uh, I think what you can understand is the trade-off is L-band is expensive and you can't get much information, which is a shame because that's what we want to get here. But still, we're gonna go there. We're gonna see that it's not that bad. Um, so what are other bands you have in satellites? You have the, after the C band, you have the KU band. Uh, that's what I used to, to have for receiving uh, what they used to call broadband satellite internet before 2010, from 2007 to 2010. You could get like one megabit, one or two, maybe theoretically, maybe eight. That's the KU band. And um, the last one that, again, like consumer base band is like the KA band, the one uh, used for, uh, I would say, high end uh, internet satellite now that we, we get in Europe. Uh, this, this is quite fast, actually. Theoretically, with a KA band, you can get like 100 megabit. So that's quite nice. But then it you can't use a an antenna like this, you need like a proper dish and you need to align it and it's quite complicated. So, that's Dream Catcher version 2.03, bought it on the website, actually I bought two of these. And maybe to, to go a bit faster, because probably that's why you're looking at this video, you get two SMA ports, right? Two. As I said, when it comes 
from the box, you might have a plastic thing here. You have a cover, a, a plastic rubber cover, so they're kind of telling you, oh, you should put the antenna here. But as you see, this ball is actually working, and I'm putting this antenna on that port. And this port is called LNA in, right? LNA in. And that one is LNA bypass. So if you order the passive antenna, right, you see it's quite, there's no, no electronics inside, it's just some aluminum plates, right? Get this antenna, you can put it here. You have to put it here, all right? But if you have the other antenna, I'm gonna show it to you after, you have to put it there. I guess that's because this port is amplified. That's why it's called LNA in. LNA means low noise amplifier. So there is an amplifier here. And that's where you put the passive antenna, okay? And that's important after also because when you go to the, the settings, the tuner settings, you have to choose your satellite, wherever you are. I, I started to play with that, I was in Asia. Um, by default, it's not in Asia. I don't know where it is by default, but then you have to set your frequency on the right satellite depending on where you are. So there is Asia, Europe, and America. So here, we're in Europe. I'm, I will show you on the interface. So you have to set up the frequency for the satellite where you are. Europe, Asia, America. And you have to choose which type of antenna you're using. This is a passive antenna. I'm gonna show you, that's the setting I have if we're in passive. But I have another board, an active board, you will have to choose active. And the last thing, very important, you have to reboot the card after you apply the settings. I'm almost certain of it. Took me forever to figure this out. You will say it's quite simple, yeah. You set it up, you apply, you should reboot. Nah, I, 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 I didn't do it. I was a bit lost also in between the passive and the active. Again, that's the passive, 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 passive antenna. Passive goes here, LNA in. Active goes LNA bypass. And they warn you on the, on, on the shop. They say, don't, don't put the active antenna here or you're gonna blow it up. I am, I, I'm not super good with RF and and this type of electronic, but I can, yeah, it's like putting electricity with electricity, probably, yeah, they're right. I didn't do it, my boards all work, so don't put, that's why I think they put a, a plastic cover here, because they, 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 they're kind of expecting you to buy the active antenna. So, passive antenna on passive connector, LNA in, all right? That's the one I'm not using right now, it's just, to show you. The other step is quite easy. You are supposed to download uh, uh, the operating system that you put on the, see? You buy a, a micro SD card, 16 gigabit, because you can't find uh, smaller now, 16 gigabit. You download the image, you burn the image. Uh, there is a lot of tutorial for that, it's quite, quite easy. You burn the image, you put it on the one of the two SD card reader, so one of the two meaning the SD0, right, SD0, this one, okay, and this comes with a Wi-Fi dongle, no problem with that, and then the other little choice you have, because there is a lot of options on this board, is uh, which micro USB port you're gonna use for powering this up, and it doesn't matter, they're both good. I guess uh, from what's written, one is only for power, the one called USB power, and the other one, USB OTG. I tried it, it's quite good if you want to have a terminal, um, if you want to go to the board using a terminal, like to type some commands, and I, 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 but I, I don't know, I thought I had to do it, that's the first thing I did, and then finally it doesn't really matter because uh, if you use Skylark, Skylark 4.4 now, if you use, you use Skylark, this thing is just working out of the box, no problem, all right? This is another board. Um, I bought two because I was a bit paranoid. Uh, that's another board. 
And as you see, the antenna is uh, connected to the other connector, the LNA bypass. Why? Because that's the active antenna. All right? And I'm powering it up by uh, the USB power, the micro USB power. Um, you can see the LED flickering, meaning that the first one is a. I don't know what is the first one, but the second one is a packets. So it means I'm receiving packets. And the third one, the red one, is a lock. It means we have signal lock, meaning like we are we are properly aligned and and receiving things from that satellite. Uh, so if we follow the cable, so that's a SMA, not RPSMA. Be careful with that. Very confusing if you're new to this world. RPSMA is um, mainly it's a type of connector you get with Wi-Fi routers. So if you buy a cable, uh, you might have a RPSMA, uh, SMA cable. That's why they don't sell them on the website. They are, they are a bit annoying to get. Like I, I had to go to a shop to make um, to, to tailor make this one to have a mail mail again because another little problem is the active antenna as a um, SMA female and the ball as S SMA female. Uh, so you need a male male. And a lot of cables are male female. So that's why, yeah, yeah the male, male male SMA cable. Again, I haven't found any shop selling them like just like this. So that's where it's going. And that's, see, green, with a little chip on it. That's the active antenna, right? With the uh, female SMA port. Okay, two meters cables, very good quality. But uh, I've, I've, I've read that, and I know that uh, quality of cable and length are very important. But uh, no, it wasn't my prime. I, I, that's what I was suspecting, but I, I tested the, the cable and, uh, and my cable is good. Uh, then, another room for investigation at the beginning, because uh, it didn't work, as I said, like for quite a while. I thought maybe the power was the problem. Uh, so I tested the board and checked if I got five volts a bit everywhere, but again, Careful, careful, careful. Like if you're going there, be super careful. Because you don't, this is bare electronics. Right? There is no protection at all. And you're, you need to make sure when you're testing, you don't short anything, right? So that's micro USB going to a very simple, see, nothing fancy, <laughs> stupid USB-C, Apple USB-C. But, right, like, like what if I was gonna say five euro, yeah, five, Four euro USB cable, nothing fancy, all good. I see power works. I know, yeah, I know the power could be a, could be an issue. Like they they recommend two amps uh, USB. See, like this kind of stuff, but two amps. And they, when I'm saying they, like on forum or on manuals, they um, they warn you that a lot of two amps uh, charger like USB charger, they are not really 2M, so they, 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 if you have more, like maybe you can go more. I tried with 4M, so I didn't blow anything. You can go, yeah, you can do that if you, you think that's a problem, but mm, nobody knows. But, okay, so that's how it works, right? Connected is simple, very simple, that's it. 